Hey everyone, it's great to have you on the channel. I'm Skunk. Today, we're putting the spotlight on a Roblox player all the way from Russia. Meet Seni. Seni isn't your average enthusiast. This remarkable individual has elevated the art of Roblox obbying to heights. Through a blend of precision, innovation, and unwavering dedication, Seni has earned admiration within the community. Let's explore what sets Seni apart as a player. To begin with, let's dive into Seni's prowess. Whether it's maneuvering through obbies or conquering impossible towers, Seni effortlessly executes these challenges with ease. So today, we will be asking him up front about how exactly he got to where he is. What first drew you to Roblox obbies, and how did you get started in this genre? Can you walk us through your process for tackling a new or particularly challenging obby? What strategies do you use? Which obby in Roblox do you find the most challenging or rewarding, and why? How do you stay motivated to keep improving and mastering new obbies? What's the most memorable moment you've had while playing or creating obbies? Have you ever faced any major setbacks or difficulties in your obby career? How did you overcome them? What's one piece of advice you would give to new players who are trying to get better at obbies? Can you share any tips or tricks for improving in obbies, progressing faster? What are your future goals or projects related to obbies? My interest to obbying has been since 2019, when I knew a popular game called Tower of Hell. I don't remember much more than watching an old THE Tower of Hell completion from one guy back then, and I thought he was top 1. I can say I started playing some random obby stuff at 2020. Then in 2021, I got more interested in tiered stuff, and managed to complete Room of Terrifying, which is tier 12, and then Chained, which is tier 13. Also, I was trying to build something in late 2021, but ended up kinda bad. 2022 started, and I started seriously grinding popular obbies, and tier 14s, which you can see on my channel. Then you know, the elegance grind, long hopping, and tier 16s. My hardest obby is both Sharp and Back There Benjamin. I'm not saying which is harder because I don't want to get in this debating stuff. Most people say Sharp's harder because of block influence, which is obvious. Useful obby? Again, it's hard to say because people don't progress the same way. But I can say that Moonlit Cosmos is probably the most useful obby. Well, all people start something because of motivation, and it can end at an unknown period, then grinding starts. Obbies were really fun. So it was the reason why I kept playing obbies until today. Well, not as much as before, but I still play them sometimes. But I can say that all of my completions then and today were charged up with the fun part. I can't say that I had to play obbies without fun or something, but the exception can be Robux reward. My most memorable moment is obviously the elegance win. But some notable moments are long hopping completion, the moment when the Russian community realized Boom Sasak is Ukrainian, and the last I can say is TOVH completion. I've actually come across a few moments of me realizing that I'm so bad at the game that I almost quit grinding it while grinding TOVH, because bro, I spent too much for it. And obviously, elegance grind when I had a lot of moments that I'm not gonna complete it. These periods are temporary, just wait till they go away. My biggest advice is do not jump to obbies that are too hard for you. Don't repeat any mistakes, especially if you are a tiered obby player and you want to beat a hard tower. Progress slowly and work on the amount of obbies you've beaten. Take example from Frocta. As I said previously, progress slowly. You don't really need to watch stuff like, how do I progress faster? You just need to watch how efficient you are at progressing. Jumping to hard stuff is not efficient. At some point, it can be faster than slow progression, but think twice about how it works. I don't really know my next goals for obbying. I'm not even sure if I will complete Back There Benjamin, since summer is going to end soon, and my whole summer I was just improving my raw skill. But for sure, I can say that I will build obbies and maybe finish some old stuff that I still haven't finished. That concludes our interview with the Seni. A big thank you to Seni for sharing those insights and advice on Roblox obbies. It's evident that dedication and expertise are key in excelling at Roblox obbies. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more or just help the channel out. And with that, 
we have the end of our video. Thank you for watching and special thanks to me, Norific for doing the voiceover, and PCZM with help for editing. Bye.